Hey, Kenzie. Guess what we just what we just did. What? We just got ingredients to make some apple pie. Next, when we're back, we're gonna be in the kitchen, and it's gonna be hot. Welcome everyone to my kitchen. Today, the first thing we're gonna be making is apple pie. So I think the first thing, well, the first part of pie is we need to make crust. So right now, we're gonna make some crust. First thing we need is flour. I'm just taking a cup, or a cup and a half. It's in there, just like I said it was. Take two sticks of butter, very cold, icy cold. You're gonna cut them up into little pieces, like half inch pieces. Again, I've never done this before. So you just kind of have to like take it for take it for what it is. Anyway, I'm taking this cold butter from the flour. I'm mixing it up. Probably need a fork. You're supposed to use a uh, some sort of food cutter thing, but all I got is a fork. We're gonna add, I think it's like a tablespoon of sugar, or and a teaspoon of of salt. That's cane sugar. Next, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna, I'm gonna cut this up for Maybe you should've softened it first. I, it's supposed to be cold. I don't think this is gonna work. Be right back with a better tool. I'm positive. I couldn't find anything better than a fork, so now we have two forks. This whole process is gonna take two minutes and you are literally just gonna smash everything together. All right, so after it's been about like two minutes, you'll see it's very gritty, like pea-sized little chunks here. You can see if you like put your hand in it and grab it, it'll stick. It should like stick together just a tiny bit. Then you're gonna take another cup of flour. This is this is the third cup, my bad. So now we should have two and a half cups of flour. And we gotta start mixing it. I recommend you use a rubber spoon. Start pounding it. Making me nervous. Let's put a little bit of water in there. And it was like something like eight tablespoons of ice water. So I'm gonna start off with like four. <laughs> you know, it's very possible I'm making mistakes at this point. Like the butter might not be like chunky enough. I know that this is like pretty much the full amount of water, so I'm just gonna add all of it because this dough is really not coming together yet. There we go. Now it's looking like something. I'm pretty sure we don't need to mix it too much, actually. We actually just need to mix it enough to get it into the shape of a ball. It's crust just falling. Trust me, this is gonna be delicious. Look at that, that looks like something. This looks like something. I think we need to add even more water here. Uh, I don't know. We almost got something. It's going really well. You've probably never seen these kneading techniques before. You're probably just not a very experienced baker like I am. Of course, I've never made a pie. I think that's staying together enough. We'll just forget about that. So make ourselves a bowl. A bowl or a ball? A ball. Don't make yourself a bowl. You don't need a bowl. Mmm, look at this. This looks like a something that can be used for pie, doesn't it? Put a comment right now in the chat what you think this ball could be used for. I think it could be used for pie. This is a ball. We did exactly what we were supposed to do. Now we take the knife and we cut it in half. Two balls, each half, turn it into a ball. Now we got two pie crust dough balls. Now all we gotta do is saran wrap this and put it in the fridge. So, I got my balls wrapped. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna put them in the fridge for at least an hour up to two days. For the next step in the process here, I'm gonna be making the filling. What we have to do is slice these apples. So I have all these apples here. And I don't have an apple slicer, so I have to do each one by hand. We got one done. This would be much easier if I had a uh, apple core, decorer, slicer. We just cut it in thin slices. 
the slices, put them in my bowl, see them in there. And I'm gonna do that with all the apples. One hour later. All right, so after like an hour and a half, I finally sliced all my apples and I literally have cut two of my fingers. So thank the Lord that process is over. And now we're gonna go on to making the uh, caramel sauce. First thing we need to do is melt a stick of butter. Taking out the butter. Pretty awesome. See my band-aids too? They're minions. Minion. Anyway, here's my butter. I'm gonna put it in the pan and it's going to melt. I'll give you a good look at that. It's in there melting. Mmm, it smells wonderful. I love the smell. Now, a lot of times when I'm cooking, I just use my feelings rather than using science. I wouldn't recommend that as I have cut two fingers and I'm not even sure if I use the right amount of apples. Three tablespoons of flour. Just stir that in. Bada bang, bada bang. Smells yummy. Take a half a cup of sugar. Half a cup of sugar. Wonderful. Okay, now we're gonna get a cup of brown sugar. Brown sugar is like white sugar, except it's Mexican. Kind of difficult to get out. Now I'm gonna stir this in here. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Pour it in. So as you can see, the mixture is coming to a boil. Uh, for five minutes here, let the mixture simmer. All right, boys and girls, it's all coming together now. Take out our frozen pie balls. We're gonna flatten them, make some pie crust. So put this right here, okay. Oh, whip it, whip it, whip That, I'm gonna start flatten. I'm gonna start rolling the pie crust out. Try to do this thing. There we go. Making something happen here. You can see now my pie crust has been firmly inserted into the pie pan. Now we will take these apples and we will throw them in there. So let's I'm pour it all over our apples. Okay, as you can see here, I'm just now flattened the next piece of dough and I'm going to cut it into strips and weave myself a top layer. Okay, so this is actually what I came up with. Now I know I skipped that, but this is, I mean, it, it happened. It's pretty cool if you ask me, I uh, can't believe I've done this. All right, so, so far we have this set up um, and I'm just gonna, Go ahead and you know crimp the edges. I was thinking about adding a couple like fun touches to this. Let's stick some apples, like see if I can just stick them up out of it. It is interesting. Here we go. We got ourselves a heart. I'm gonna put it right in the middle with all these little apples surrounding it. Is it in the center of the pie? Kinda. I have to temporarily take it out of the oven because these like Sticker outer ones were starting to burn. It was a bad burn. idea. So it was a bad idea on my part. Kenzie knew it. I'm gonna put this back in the oven. Welcome, kings. The pie is out of the oven. I already took a slice out. I forgot to film it. But it does taste extremely good. The food, and it is extremely yummy. Very, very good. Thank you guys for watching another Cargo Kings video today. Cargo Kings has recently joined with Indiana Syndicate, so use code INSIN10 to get 10% off of Rogue Energy. Have a good one.